Ambassador John R. Bass announced a package of over $90 million of U.S. programs supporting democracy and good governance in Georgia at the National Parliamentary Library in Tbilisi. These programs, collectively called Governing Justly and Democratically, are administered by the U.S. Agency for International Development, the Public Affairs Section of the U.S. Embassy, and the U.S. Department of Justice. I don't think it's going to be a surprise to anyone in this room to hear me state again that the United States is strongly committed to this country and to its people. And one of the reasons we have invested so much of our time, our effort, and the resources of the American taxpayers here in Georgia is because we believe in your freedom to choose your own futures and to choose your own way in the world. This investment underscores the U.S. government's commitment to work with Georgia to strengthen its democracy through an array of programs, including judicial independence, rule of law, good governance, political competition, civic education in schools, and civil society and media. <laughs> Political elites, Swam Krivaki, Samokalok Sazogadubashi, Eterti Asset Sakit Hiari, Im Pundamenturi Archevani Surheoba, Rasat Squia, Sakartulus, the Kartulis Azogobis Archevani, Gartes, Tamuki de Belli, Tavisupali, Democrati Uli, Hirseul Kuana, Tabrun de Simo Jashi, Rasat, Tavisupali, Kuakanabis Jaki Kuia, Rasat, Euro Altikuris. The U.S. mission will spend more than two hundred million dollars to support democracy and governance programs in Georgia between two thousand seven and two thousand fifteen. This investment illustrates the importance of the U.S.-Georgian partnership in promoting a durable democracy and furthering reforms that strengthen Georgia. The event brought together stakeholders from the U.S. Missions Democracy and Good Governance programs. Invited guests include members of the government of Georgia, civil society, political parties, academia, and the media. This event preceded the upcoming April 27th Democracy Working Group provided for under the U.S.-Georgia Strategic Charter. You know, you're here because you care about democracy. And the hardest task that you all face is not the work that you do every day. I think the hardest task that you have is to inspire every Georgian that you know, every Georgian that you meet in every village, in every town, in every city, that they should care about their democracy as much as you do you need to inspire them to care about it and to make it as much a daily part of their lives as you make it part of yours. That requires changes in attitudes and in behaviors. Democracy requires the positive engagement of every citizen. And our programs, all the programs you're working on together, are here to help you in government, parliament, judiciary, in civil society, in media, and political parties, to help move those goals democracy forward. I hope you encourage them as much as you do each other. And just keep telling them, democracy isn't what you're being given, democracy is what you make of it.